Hello everyone, in this video we are going to extend our diagram with open telemetry collectors and low key to observe lock. Let's look back to the diagram again. We already sent traces to Chipkin and Jiggert, sent matrix, actually remitter spreads matrix from Hotel Java agent. Now what we're going to do is to send logs to low key. Still using Hotel Java agents and SDK to configuration with the modifying the code. As you can see here, there's no option in advance for Loki exporter. And Loki hasn't supported OTLP yet. So this disk is still in progress. So it's still open. And currently, maybe you're in some week ahead, it's going to be a new version. So in order to send locked from our Spring Boot service to Loki, we are going to have the old hell collectors as a middleman. This one will receive the Spring Boot service lock and send them to Loki. Also from my perspective, it's a good practice to have old hell collectors as a middleman because here, so it allows your service to upload data quickly and the collector can take care of additional handling like retries, especially smashing. This will help you to save a lot of money and encryption and sensitive data filtering, etc. etc. Okay, if you don't know what is hotel collector, this image may mess you up a little bit, but basically it's just a composition of receiver, processor, and exporters. Receivers is where you receive data, exporter just where you send data and both of them are mandatory. Processors are optional, but they actually wear these benefits like batching and encryptions happened. Okay, let's go ahead and build our hotel collector. Okay, in order to build hotel collector, we need to provide a hotel collector configuration file. So I will create this file, collector folder, and then in this folder, we're going to hotel collector.yaml. So this is our hotel collector configuration files. So for the sake of simplicity, we are going to create a minimal hotel collector configuration file. So in here, we only declare what are mandatory and what we need to make the whole infrastructure runnable. So here we have a list of receivers, a list of exporters. So you can also have a list of processors, something. But since processor is optional, so, and for the simplicity, I, I, I won't declare it here. Then we're going to have define a pipeline. For example, this is pipeline for lock. We're going to receive data at the OTLP here, the receiver's name, not the name type, OTLPs, and the exporter type, Loki. So we are going to define a pipeline that we specify, okay, this is the receiver, and data is going to this receiver, and we are going to expose it to this one. We are going to expose it to Loki. Lucky, this is the type of exporter. Then this is the endpoint of, of Lucky. So let's take a look at our diagram here. So we are going to define the collectors. So this is our receivers. So we are going to define our receivers. This is the OTLP GRPC endpoint at port 4317. 4317. So by enabled gRPC, this is the endpoint. The default endpoint is this one, the collector uh, 4317. So because it's a default one, so we don't have to explicitly declare. So by this, define this receiver, so we are opened an gRPC endpoint at 4317 here. Okay. Then in Java, 
engineers can send logs to this endpoint. And for the exporters, we are, will send the log to Loki through that endpoint. By that, we, are, we need to deploy Loki. And in Loki, we export port 3100. And Loki and collector will push the log data to this API. OK, so basically, this is our pipeline. Receive data at collector 4317 and push data to Loki at Loki 3100. OK. Be aware that this one is type, not the name. For example, if you type Loki he he, for example, here, and the exporter is Loki he he, it's not going to work, right? Because this is the type that point to Loki exporters redefined for us here. So we have Loki exporter. And these are the attribute of Loki as factors then. So we're using the endpoint, only using the endpoint here for simplicity. So declare this one here. So this is the tie, right? So for example, if now we want to, we have two different Loki cluster and we would like to send logs to both of these cluster. How do we do that? So now we need a name. So so this is the way we define the name. We need to slot the type slot and the name. For example, cluster one, and this one is cluster two. And then we're going to send our exporter to both cluster. Then we're going to cluster one and cluster two. So this is the way to do that with the name. But since we only have one instance, one cluster, so let's give a symbol. Cluster. Okay. Now we have the hotel collector's configuration file in place. Let's go ahead and create our hotel collector. Okay, in Docker Compose, we are going to have the collector here and Loki. So Loki just symbol. Loki we need container the image Loki. Uh, yeah, the command to start Loki. And that's it. So the port Loki here is it 300, 3100, right? Then we are going to have the collectors. So in order to use the collector configuration file here. Then we need to map it, right? From Docker, Docker collector, collector, hotel collector of YAML, hotel collector of YAML. We map it into our images, our image. Hotel collector, country, hotel collectors of YAMLs, and then we run with the command countries with this one, right? Okay. So now the other service need to be configured to send logs to the hotel collector. So seeing the hotel collector logs exporter not logging, we need to change it to OTLP, the default one. And we need to define the endpoint for logs. So the OTLP for lock endpoint here is it actually to be collector forty three seventeen. So as you see here in the collectors, we export the port forty three seventeen. So this is the OTLP gRPC receiver, like we already defined here. So this port actually does. OTLP protocol CDRPC here. Then Java agents is send our clock to this 
send log to the collector using this gRPC endpoint. And in hotel collectors, going to send log receiver to the exporter. The exporter here is Loki through this HTTP endpoint of Loki. Okay, everything is set up. Let's run it. Ah, uh, one thing. Now we need to depend on because we need to depend on the collector here. Because we are sending the sending logs to collector, so the collector needs to be available before. Okay, that's good. The service, the collector, and Locky, the OSAP. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to Rafana localhost 3000 admin admin skip okay add data source so the data source now is locky right so our Rafana will have a second data source the first data source is Remitters now now we're going to add the second data source is locky power to locky port 3100 so locky 3100 Seven test, then we slot. Okay, now we have exporter, job level, job actually, the service name. So we have all the service here and run query. So now we successfully sent lock from our service to Loki. So you see, it started the other service application in four seconds, right? Okay, let's try to send some data. To our server, local AT order one, local AT AT order three. So we're going to see error, and actually, what we want to see, we would like to see some trace ID and span ID, right? Okay, so we have trace ID, we have span ID, so we know for sure that the Java agents already inject the trace ID and the span ID to our logs to send to another backend observability. That's good because with this characteristic, uh, this attributes, then we can link our log to trace to easily debug or fix a bug that happened in our service. Okay, now the last thing we need to do is that we need to add the data source into our Rafna data source. So in order we don't have to add data source manually. Okay. So we add the second data source now Locky here. So by that, after we run Docker compose of the data source is automatically assigned to Grafana without manually assigned. Okay, so let's restart our server, our infrastructures, Docker compose down, and start it up again. Okay, now let's go to local hall 3000 again, admin, admin, okay, skip, update that work, then we are going to check our data source, so now we have Loki in advanced and Remitius, okay, explore it, and run where, okay, we have label, select our service, no worry. Okay, successfully. Okay, we will end this video here. Thank you so much for taking your time watching this video and the series. Hope you can learn something new here and see you in the next video. Happy coding!